Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. So, Devin Haney, man. <laughs> Devin Haney, man. Devin the American Dream Haney, man. Devin the Dream Haney. I think I'm going to change his name to Lemony Smicket, man. Because it's just been a series of unfortunate events for all <laughs> Devin Haney, man. Whether you like him or not, has nothing to do with it, man. It's just Devin Haney. It's just hard not to feel bad for the young man. You know, it's like it, boxing is a tough sport, and he's feeling all the blood trauma from that tough sport, you know what I'm saying, in, in addition to Ryan Garcia. So let's just think about what just transpired in the past, man. You know, of course, Ryan Garcia, uh, he uh, Devin Haney suffered his first loss at the hands of Ryan Garcia. And then, of course, you know, it's been, it's been uh, hit with controversy. You know, Ryan Garcia tested positive for PEDs. So, you know, if you're Devin Haney, you're thinking, dang, man, I lost my first fight. And then the person I, I, I fought with cheated me. Nigga, you was a bitch! And then, you know, fast forward to here, now, you know, you're, you're, you're coming and you have your comeback fight against your protect, your mandatory Sandra Martin, and you go for a purse bid, and you think that you have a promoter, <laughs> that have, I'm, not, I'm sorry to laugh, you have a promoter that has your back, uh, Eddie Hearn and Matchroom, and then you find out that not only was the purse bid low, but then you find out it was low because only Bob Arum put up money and won the purse bid for $2 million <laughs> in total, because Matchroom didn't even put up a purse bid at all. Damn! I'm sorry. Um, you know, so you know, so not only are you going through tough times right now, you feel like you're isolated and everybody's turning your back on you. People that you thought would have your back don't even have your back. But unfortunately, you know, with a uh, Devin Haney is a free agent, right? And this is what happens when you're a free agent. You know, you don't have that security of having a promotional team behind you. So when Eddie Hearn comes on and says disrespectfully that the fight has no value. Whoa, whoa. You know, it kind of makes you feel like, dang, man, you know, you feel like, dang, I have no value. That that hurts, man. That's, <laughs> that's, that's basically an F you yeah. in, in business terms. And, you know, he said the zone doesn't want the fight, so he's not going to bid for it. And Devin Haney's a free agent. So a lot of people don't know when you're a free agent, yeah, you reap more benefits. You can bounce around how you want, fight how you see fit. But when you don't have a promotional company, you know, you don't have somebody who's always going to put you in a good situation or make even make up an undercard for your, your event when you do fight, you know, or put up your purse bids. So that's kind of what Devin Haney's going through right now. And um, yeah, man, you know, he even said that he's going to retire. Uh, he said he's going to take two years off, assuming, I'm assuming he said that two years for two reasons. Uh, one, because, you know, it's a long time for him to be gone from the sport and gather his gather his, gather gather his thoughts but also two years i think that's what he's anticipating that ryan garcia would get from his uh band that's potentially incoming or suspension rather uh from the athletic commission new york athletic commission um it's no guarantee that he will be suspended i think he'll be suspended for for testing positive you know i'm not sure if he's going to get two years the two years is basically the precedent that they set you know amir khan was found guilty of having the same uh, for testing positive for the same PED, Austrian, he got two years, you know, even though he retired afterwards. So it, it was really inconsequential, but after he lost to Kell Brook. But yeah, so he, the precedent is set for two years. Do I think he'll get two years, Ryan Garcia? No, I think he'll probably get one year. Um, should he get two years? Yeah, because that's the precedent that's been set, right? But I think he'll get one, a one year ban. And I think the, I think it will get turned to a no contest. Um, is that for, is that certain? Am I sure it's going to be a no contest? No, I don't know if it's going to be overturned or not, man. Boxing is inconsistent. You know, um, I know Keyshawn Davis, he won a majority decision in one fight and he tested positive for marijuana and that, and that got overturned to a no contest, you know what I'm saying? But then we have, we have situations where other people got t tested positive shortly after their fight and those fights, um, weren't overturned at all. So, you know, there's a little inconsistencies there with boxes, so we never know. But I do I do uh, salute the young man, Devin Haney. I'm not the biggest Devin Haney fan, but yeah, I know he's going through some tough times right now. Um, but it is boxing, but it's tough. I think he can bounce back. I'm interested to see how this how this will turn, how this will all play out. But, uh, yeah, he's going through it right now with, <laughs> with the whole situation with Ryan Garcia and him having a potential fight with Sandra Martin. Um, and even if he does bounce back if come and decides to fight Sandra Martin, bro, Sandor Martin's a tough fight, man. Is he though? Sandor Martin, a lot of people thought that he beat Teofimo Lopez, right? And, and you know he beat the great uh, Mikey Garcia. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't Mikey Garcia's first loss, but still, that, that, uh, Mikey Garcia didn't fight again after that. So Sandor Martin's a very dangerous fight. I do think Devin Haney can win. I think he should win, but I think the timing is very... It, it's, it's not optimal, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's not the best timing to coming off your first... Uh, devastating loss, you know, even though it's questionable, what's not questionable is that he was, he was brutalized. He was brutalized by Ryan Garcia coming off that and then fighting a tough guy, Sandor Martin, man, that doesn't bode well, in my opinion, for Devin Haney. And then also I want to touch on too with, um, with Devin Haney, man, the one part, the one shining light 
the one good thing that I took from his his threat of retirement, or not really threat, but his, his proclamation of retirement, is that he said he has finally seemingly had a change of heart of rematching Garcia. That's what I want out of Devin Haney. That's what I like. That's what I like to see. You know, when Miguel Cotto got cheated by Antonio Margarito, what did he do, man? He said, oh, no, 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 bro. Let's run that back. Bro, you was cheating. I need to get that back. You know what I'm saying? I did not like that Devin Haney didn't want the rematch. I understand it because, hey, who would want to step in the ring again with somebody that cheated? You know, you potentially cheat again. Nigga, you was a bitch! But at the same time, you know, where I'm coming from, where I'm from and stuff like that, I respect somebody who wants to go get their win back, you know. So go get that back. Go go, go show us that, hey, man, Ryan Garcia was cheating. That's the only reason why he won. And I'm going to get that back and I'm going to show him what's up, man. So I do respect that out of him. But if he doesn't want to do the rematch with Ryan Garcia, I understand it. But like I said, once again, I like the fact that he's now calling for the rematch. So that's dope, man. So hopefully we do get that rematch and we'll see how it really goes, man. Um, I personally don't believe that it'll change the outcome, but I think he deserves... <laughs> Uh, 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 the right to prove that he only lost because of the PEDs. So y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Remember, we're God. We can do anything without God. We're nothing. And the doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.